just got back from a diecast event, still filled with adrenaline because of all the good stuff I found. Here is some of it. Not that much, but for me, it's a lot because most of the time I'm busy with filming and I have no time to search for diecast. Also, brought these catalogs with me. And here are two more catalogs. Burago and Dinky Toys going to do a video about those next week, but we start with these ones over here. Britain's 1980, 81, 82. Let's start and do it quick. So here we got the front. First page. Some former equipment. I have no models from Burton's in the collect in the collection. But I do like it a lot. And uh, for 1980, this looks very good. Look at those trees. Look at those animals. And this is the package. Check out these beautiful dioramas. Nice barns. Horses. Well detailed painted figures. That looks amazing. Here more animals from all over the world. Elephants, zebras, you name it, they've got it. Military stuff from World War II. And to be honest, if they were still selling this, I would have bought it. Because like I said, it looks really, really good. More military stuff over here, nice figures, well painted. Hey, does he have a tablet in his hand? Probably an iPad in World War II. A conspiracy theory in one, two, three. Okay, we also have uh, Cowboys and Indians. And even Mexicans, I believe. How cool is this? Nineteen eighty. That's a long time ago. I was not even born. Nice machine gun over here. Here, the packaging. Yes. We also need this ones. And of course, Britain figures. Here we got some police models. Stan motorbikes. Fantastic. Amazing. Okay. Next one. This is the one from 1981. The year that I was born. Wow. Space stuff. Truck looks very good. Check out that helicopter. 1981. Those tractors. Farm equipment. I also like those trees. They look really good. 
you get some sets with animals, tractor, more animals. When I was young, I think I had that one. Not 100% sure. Okay, so here we got some more farm dioramas. I think this is the same as the one in 1980. Uh, let's check that out. Where it is? No, not here. Here it is. Is that the same? We got a tree, we got some water. We got a tree, we got some water. Yes, I, f I believe it is the same, but different angle. And this is a bit same as the other one. But you place it in a different angle and it is totally new. Okay, next page. Okay, here we got some more African animals. The elephants, hippos. Fantastic. Nice a Land Rover. We've got the Cowboys and the Indians. And I also have never seen this on a diecast event. Here some more military stuff. I believe it's the same as in the catalog of 1980. Um, these are pretty new. These are modern soldiers. Looks like it. These are World War II Germans. I believe these ones are modern. Let's check 6300. Where are you? Paratroopers. Okay, we got the police again, the British figures, stunt motors. Okay, basically the same stuff as 1980. Okay, last one. I think we got some new stuff over here. I see some UFOs. And dude likes UFOs. We got the space stuff over here. New, new aliens. Okay, you can build a whole space station. Um, here we got the truck again. This is, yep, new. And I had that one as a child. But now it's gone. And I can't, re I, I remember that it was broken. Yep. It was a little bit too rough. Ah, like that with the track. Farm equipment. Trees again. Farm figures, new, new, new chicken and ducks. Diorama again, it's still there. The other diorama. African animals or animals from all over the world, still there. Yep, cowboys and Indians. Same figures again. I totally understand, but it's because they look really cool. Some knights over here. Uh, 
what do we got here? Military stuff, yes. Germans, British soldiers, the paratroopers. Yeah, these are definitely modern soldiers. And the police and the classic racing motorbikes. Okay, um, why not show you what I found on the event? So I found this super cool Matbox Kenworth K100E and transporter. I bought it for 15 euro. I think that is a very good price. Still in the package, how cool is that? Not a big fan of this uh, plastic transporter, but that truck is amazing. Super cool. Then I was looking for this one. Yep, I like space vehicles. Got these two uh, Datsuns and you can see they have different wheels, rims. I like that the accessories on the top are painted as well. Got some mud in the front. Yeah, they look both really cool. Then I found these Hot Wheels mainline from the A-Team. Didn't have it. I paid a lot for it. 25 euro. That's a lot, but I thought it's now or never. Um, bought this Matbox London bus. Yeah, also cool looking, pretty heavy also. I found another piece of the Honda set. Still not the complete set. I'm missing this one and this one. Yeah, those are very popular. So I have this one, this one, this one, and these two are missing. This Matbox uh, mover. And the reason I bought it because it has Matbox on the side. Moving your imagination, yes. That's cool. And I bought the complete uh, Ghostbuster set. And as you can see, they were available at Kruidvat for two euro. And I bought the complete set for 10 euro. Now, I didn't buy the set for the cars, but I do like this one. And this one. But the main reason I bought it is because of the cards. Cards are totally awesome. Ugly as hell. But the card is cool. Check that artwork. How awesome is that? Already had this one. And I believe I also have this one. I'm not 100% sure. Very cool. Okay, so in the coming week, I will make a video about these catalogs. Dinky Diecast Toys. Um, can't see the year. That's quick, but we will find it out. And uh, Burago 96. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video with your diecast friends, have a very nice day and I'll see you soon. Happy hunting, bye.